Hello again, year four. So we're going to start week two of our Journey to Joburg project. I'm doing this straight after week one, so this blue's still a bit wet, but it'll be fine. You need for this some oil pastels. You need a medium brush and a fine brush. You may need a ruler and a pencil, depending on um, how you want to do it. And you will need um, paints again. Might be watercolours, might be block paints, but you need some paints. So we're going to use wax resist in order to create the houses by drawing with oil pastels and then filling in with paint. So the first thing that we're going to do is to do the um, skyline of Johannesburg on the horizon line. So you can use this picture to look at or you can um, just use your own ideas. There's, um, you might be having to share pastels. So there's two different blues that you could use and I'm gonna start with the darker blue. So you might have to share. So I'm not gonna use a ruler, I'm just going to go for it. So I've drawn my skyline in the sky. I've made it my own, which you can do as well. Now, the next thing that I need to do is I need to just give myself a couple of guidelines to help me as to where to put the houses and how to make sure that I create perspective in my drawing. So using a ruler and a light coloured oil pastel, so I would suggest either the yellow or the yellow ochre or maybe the peach one, because you will be drawing over these lines. Just put your ruler on the vanishing point and just lightly draw a line and do the same on this side. Remember, you're going to leave yourself some space here to draw the shacks and the roofs. So that's the first step. And then you can start to draw the roofs of the, um, of the houses. So I've just started this one here. So remember, we talked about last week and you practiced creating um, these roofs where that line is diagonal and that line is straight. These lines that I'm drawing across, I've made them quite wobbly on purpose because they, that's how they would have looked. This is the corrugated iron that, was on, that they use for roofs for their huts. So that's the first one. And then the next one, I might do a blue one. So I'm going to get... I would like it, if you could, to just go straight ahead and draw freehand with the oil pastel. But if you really don't feel very confident doing that, then draw the first couple lightly with a pencil and then go over it. I'm using the ruler to make sure that I've got the same angle. But don't spend ages um, drawing with a pencil the details. Go straight in with the oil pastel when you're ready to put the details on. So I'm doing the wobbly lines here. I'll carry on with that in a minute. And I'm taking a brown oil pastel to look like the side of the house and maybe put in part of a window in there so it looks like a window so that we can see that this is the side of the house and this house is in front of it. So I'm going to put you on fast forward now and I'm going to draw a few more. So I've drawn lots of houses with the oil pastel. I've got them facing in different directions and higgledy piggledy. I've made sure the ones at the front seem bigger than the ones at the back. I haven't done any little tiny ones in this space here, which they probably would be. We'll come to that next week. You can add those in when you're doing your final bits when you're using um, felt tip pens and colour pencils. That will be easier to do. So for the last part of today's lesson, we're going to paint, but you probably need to pause the video now. Draw your oil, draw your houses. Oh, stop. Don't pause the video now. Um, I was just going to show you how I would go in and draw some doors and some windows in the house, houses. So think about that. Think about fitting in. Some of the doors are quite big. We'll go a long way up. Um, 
there might be that shape as well. So, yeah, so put some doors and windows in as well with the oil pastels before you start painting. So, you pause the video, draw them, and then it's time, it'll be time to start painting, and that will be the last part of today's lesson. So, hopefully you have drawn your houses now. So, we're going to start painting. So, there's a few things that we need to paint. We need to paint this, the dark blue in, in the skyline, and we need to paint the roofs of the houses and the sides of the houses. Now, the houses are all sorts of different colours, so you can use whatever colours you want to do for that. But I'm going to start with my lighter colours. And where I have um, drawn a house in red, I'm going to paint it in red. And you can see that the oil pastel resists the paint so that you can see the lines that you've put in in advance. And do this one. Orange, so you can carry on doing your painting. I think I might paint some of my houses brown, so I'll use some brown paint, but I'll also use some bright colours as well. And then for this, this needs to be in a darker blue than the blue that you used for the, for the sky. So paint that in a darker blue. Okay, pause the video now and I'll let you get on with painting your houses and I'll see you back here. So you should have, your picture should look a little bit like this. Obviously it's not going to be the same as this because it's your picture, not mine. So you should have your houses drawn in oil pastel and painted. You should have painted... Um, what's on the skyline, Johannesburg in the skyline. And this week, it's going to be very much what you want to add to your picture. We don't need paint anymore. We don't need oil pastels anymore. We're going to use coloured pencils and felt tip pens. And I'm not going to do very much more on mine because I want you to use your own initiatives to do yours. But for the smaller houses in the background, they're obviously easier to draw with pencil than they were with oil pastel. So draw some smaller houses in the background so it looks as though they're further away. So you can carry on and do that when you're ready. Not now. So fit some small houses in. Look at the pictures that you've got for inspiration. So you've got lots of interesting pictures to look at for inspiration for what the houses look like. And you're drawing these in pencil now, so you can put a little bit more detail in. But do remember that the further back in your picture they are, the houses should be smaller. So to do the washing line, because I think the washing lines are really interesting. They look like flags waving and really brightly coloured. So it would be really nice to do some washing lines. So the washing lines hang across from house to house. So you would draw a line across from house to house. And then using bright colours, draw the clothes hanging on the washing line. So you could do a t-shirt like this. Or a skirt hanging down like this. However you wanted to... The nearer the clothes are to you, the bigger they will be and the further away, the smaller they will be. So think about that as you do it. You could also draw the children in the front of your picture and you can add in things like bicycles and people on bicycles and people rolling hoops or any of the things that you want to do. So this part of the lesson is really for you to use your own initiative and make the artwork your own. So I really hope you enjoy doing that. You don't need me to show you much more. Use what you've got on your tables, 
think about the um, the different images that you can see and get inspiration from those to create an amazing artwork.